Hello there, and welcome at Open at Microsoft. I'm Frank Boucher, and today with me, I have Dimitrius Nealon to talk about Winget. Hi, Dimitrius. So I know we want to talk about Winget today. So what do you have for us? All right, so I figured we'd start out here at Winget CLI repository on GitHub just to show everything is open source. I'm going to do a demo from the 1.3 version of the client. So the first thing, if you run the Winget command by itself, you're going to see some detailed help. And you'll notice there's a link at the bottom. If you're using Windows Terminal, you can just click that. It'll take you directly to the documentation. And I love that, honestly. This is so useful. You don't need to search online. It's right there. Love it. It's right there. Yep. Um, so I want to show Winget info. This is going to verify what version of Winget you have, what version of Windows you have, and your process architecture. Also tells you where your logs are if you need to do some troubleshooting. Mm -hmm. The other thing I'll show you is settings. I've already got Visual Studio Code installed, and that's my default JSON editor. So it's just going to pull up the settings file. And you'll notice I've got this section in here, Visual Progress Bar Rainbow. That's kind of one of the favorite features that we've got. So now let's say we wanted to search for something. So I'm just going to type in NuGet. Um, one of the things that's new in 1.3 is support for portable packages. And you'll see I've got a few choices here. I've got a couple from the store and one from Winget. And I'm pretty sure it's the one that's in the community repository Winget that we're interested in. So I'm just going to display that manifest and verify. Yeah, because this is really important, right? To make sure we download the good one, the secure one, we want to validate as much information as we, as we want, as we can. Right. So when I put the show command in, you'll see some information. You can see who the publisher is. You can even see if uh, we've already determined which installer or um, you know you know setup file is the right one. We're going to display that URL. You can actually just click and download it from there. But one of the benefits of using Winget for this. is that whenever you do the install for a portable app, and this is just like a loose XE file, uh, Winget will actually install this into Windows apps and features, and it will give you the ability to do upgrades and installs. So if I pull up settings for apps and features, I can search for NuGet, and you'll notice it sees the version so that the upgrade and also the uninstall function are available. You don't have to manually manage those loose portable packages like you would expect to have to do typically. Oh, that's great. One of the other things, if I do Winget list, this is actually going to show everything installed on the system. And even if you didn't use Winget to install it, if there's a match with one of the manifests in our repository, you'll see that Winget already knows about it. And it can just pretty much pick up wherever you are and, and take off from there. Oh, this is great. So let's say I have already my machine and I want I just want to get prepare for a fresh install or something like that. I could see what's in there, even if initially I didn't install it with Winget. That's correct. And so I've filtered the list on, on NuGet just to show you that it's there. And I'm going to run uninstall. And you'll see it's already uninstalled if I do Winget list, NuGet again. You'll see there's nothing there. Ah, oh, okay, yeah. One of the other common things you're going to want to be able to do is upgrade. So if I run the upgrade command, it's actually going to go and look and see anything that's installed, anything that upgrades are available, and, and let you kind of see what's there. I intentionally installed an older version of Git just so I could show you what happens. And you'll see it'll kick off the installer after it's figured out that there's the newer version there and it'll upgrade it for me. Uh, and I would say another one of our crowd pleaser features is Winget upgrade dash dash all, which will actually upgrade every package that's on your system. Um, but that one ends up being a little bit time consuming, kind of watching all of those downloads and installs and, and all of that. And we default to um, kind of a, a non-interactive mode, but we'll allow apps to show their progress just so you're not kind of staring at something blank. But you can also pass in dash dash silent, and that would actually give you a, a silent install with no kind of UI pop-ups. And we've built a lot of that for automation. That's great. There's something I want to you mentioned that I want to come back to it. So you say mm -hmm. you install an old version, older version of the Git. 
So that means I can specify a specific version. So for example, I want to create a specific environment and I need an older version. So I could pick a, not the re, the most, not the latest, right? Right. So if you type in um, the show command and you append the dash dash versions, mm -hmm. we'll actually give you a list of everything that we have in the repository. Okay. And now, so what I did was I earlier I installed two thirty nine, and I just did that by specifying the version. So for example, when get. I could actually specify a version that I wanted. Uh, it's pretty common for MSI-based installers and mm -hmm. MSIX-based installers to know there's a newer version. So you might have to uninstall to kind of force an older one on your system. But if you're just starting out, just pass in the version number and you're good to go. Okay, that's great. I love it. Well, sometimes you know you don't want the, the latest, you want the LTS or whatever, like the long time support version or something like that. So it's always nice to be able to uh, specify the version. That's great. Yeah. Yeah, so that, that was kind of what I wanted to cover today is just kind of an overview. And I'm looking forward to making some more videos where we'll dig into a little bit more detail on how we work with open source and we'll drill into some of the more complex commands. Perfect. So see you next time at Open at Microsoft. <laughs>